Hey guys, Jerry here and Komodo's back. Gonna be doing some gun game in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This game ended up being like four or five people against me and a bunch of bots, so it was not a very fair game. I did get spawn trapped pretty bad at some points, but I didn't feel like I was playing that bad and I still end up winning, so eh, might as well give you guys some more content. Now the reason I'm playing gun game in Counter-Strike is, well, one, gun game is just really fun, and two, I actually wanted to play gun game in Killing Floor, but all the servers were dead and this is the next closest thing to that. Kind of makes sense as to why the servers would be dead in Killing Floor. I mean, no one really jumps into Killing Floor to play gun games. Usually, they want to play some co-op. But if you don't know, there is a mod that allows you to play gun game in Killing Floor. It's really fun, especially since some of the maps have no gravity, so you can just shotgun jetpack everywhere. But hey, let's move on to the questions. If you want us to answer your questions, leave a question down below in the comments, and we'll try to answer it in a future voiceover. So a question I got quite a while ago is, what are the best video game soundtracks? And this is actually a really easy answer for me. Um, there's quite a few different things that come to mind. The most obvious one I just have to say instantly, purely out of respect more than anything else, Martin O'Donnell. I mean, Halo always has some of the best soundtracks. This guy, 99 damage. One more damage, you would have died. Fuck you. Um, yeah, Halo always has some of the best soundtracks. And even when Martin O'Donnell isn't involved, Halo 4's soundtrack was really different. I mean, it obviously, Martin O'Donnell's a... that's a big space to fill. I mean, I felt bad for anyone that has to fill up for Martin O'Donnell once he was gone. Um, but I think they did a pretty good job, and I still actually listen to the Halo 4 soundtrack. Now, for me, there's a myriad of different soundtracks that pop into my mind all at once. None of them really taking precedence over another. Uh, but if I were to just toss a name out like you did, I would probably say Nobuo Uematsu, because fucking Final Fantasy. Like, you can't think of Final Fantasy's music without thinking Nobuo Uematsu. But, um, really, there's just a bunch of different games that pop into my head when it comes to good music. I can't help but, you know, think Zelda. I mean, I actually just picked up, uh, uh Link's Awakening DX on my 3DS, and the first time, I know it's not, like, amazing sound, but the first time I heard Marin start singing the Ballad of the Windfish, I was like, Oh my god, my childhood! And just, like, all of the Zelda games, of course. And then I started thinking about, um... What was it? Uh, the mod that turned into a separate game for Half-Life 1. I can't remember the name of it. Black Mesa Source, there we go. There you go, That for Half-Life 1. Oh, it, there was a mod for Source Mod, remaking Half-Life 1, that's what yeah, you meant. Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. I thought you meant like a Half-Life 1 mod, I'm like, that's not a Half-Life 1 mod. Shush. Anyway. <laughs> like, I love the music in that game, but really there's only one song in there that like stands out and just really is in the forefront of my mind when I'm thinking about that game, and that's the uh, Surface Tension 1. I love that song, and I... it's your fault. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot of music that stands out in that mod. That mod did a... They did an amazing job. That's a free mod. I agree. Which is going to actually get a full release, for those of you that don't know. It's, it's going to be fully released on Steam. They're apparently adding in Ooh. new content. Yeah, I did a very bad job at this l 6 this game, so go ahead and ignore all that. <laughs> um, at least I got this kill, though. Nice. But, yeah, it's they just did a very fantastic job, and I'm actually pretty happy to see them getting a retail release, because they really do des they deserve it. Yeah. I mean, this is how many years and years of work. Like, you really don't ever see people put this amount of work into a mod. And that they decline donations. That was the other thing. They were I like, I didn't know that. Yeah, people ask, hey, can where, I put, where can I put donations? They're like, give it to so and so charity or something like that to a more reputable source. That is actually incredibly respectable. I like that. Um, but you were saying music about Legend of Zelda. The one thing about that that really helps make it actually good music is the fact that it blends into the game so well because when you hear music in a Zelda game you immediately know where in the game that plays. Yeah. And that definitely does kind of help because not only is it good music but it has that sort of good memory vibe trapped to it. Exactly. I remember when I picked up uh, Skyward Sword it came with a uh, 25th anniversary I'm good at words I swear 25th anniversary Are you uh, good at wording? Shut up. <laughs> Uh, 25th anniversary uh, orchestral soundtrack, and like it's nice hearing it in all the uh, the orchestral instruments and everything. But like you hear the music, it doesn't sound exactly like it did in the game, but you still get that memory attached to it. And that's what I love about the Zelda games and the music from them. 
If we're still talking about kind of 3DS related stuff, something that really surprised me is that a while ago they released the official soundtrack for Fire Emblem Awakening. That thing is five discs long. Holy crap. Like, how could you put so much music into a 3DS game? Okay, let me rephrase. It's four discs long. The fifth disc is just like a bunch of audio files that are like voices and sound effects, stuff like that. But yeah, that's that's a really damn big soundtrack for a 3DS game, and it's all really good. And the, uh, the audio quality is actually amazing. Like, it doesn't sound like a poorly shrunken down, terrible file. You know what I mean. It actually sounds clear. Right. Uh, which is, you know... It, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, because that's the one thing I can also say if we're talking about good music. Fire Emblem has always had amazing music. That that sucked right there. <laughs> I probably should have waited and let him go by and then knife him in the back, but uh, whatever. Aw, oh, so close. Yeah, it takes two or three hits unless you get him in the back, so. But yeah, Fire Emblem, like I was saying, it, I listen to Fire Emblem soundtracks pretty regularly. Keep in mind my preferred music of choice is metal, so, you know, I listen to more than just metal for those of you that don't believe it. But hey, there's the uh, the end of the game, this is some more gun game, and I died 23 times. It did not feel <laughs> like I died that many times. Um, I don't know, this is one of those games where I felt like I was doing better than I really was, but honestly it was because I got spawn camp so hard, and when you get into a situation where you're fighting four humans alone, you're gonna die a lot, but hey, I still won, somehow managed to have a positive KD, so. There you go, there's some more Counter-Strike gun game, hope you enjoyed it, and see you guys later.